This 10 inch clock plate was carved from a stained glass pattern and I'm going to show you how to carve it in today's lesson. To start on this carving, we'll begin from the inside and work our way out. I've already taken out the first set of chips which is this inside ring and I'll show you how we do that. Our first cut will be this inside cut right here away from our opening for the clock. I'm using my modified knife because there are many chips on this clock plate that require a little extra point on my knife which my modified knife gives me very nicely. My next cut I'll pick up right where I left off and make this cut going down from my depth and coming right to the end stopping at this line on the pattern. These are four sided chips so of course they require four individual cuts but I'm taking one after another. Notice I start shallow and plunge down from my depth with the point of my knife reaching the very bottom of the chip. If these chips are new for you, what I'd suggest doing instead of taking a lot of them one after another like I'm doing here, I suggest you try one or two so that you get the feel for how deep you need to make your cuts. For these next chips that look like the ends of bullets, we'll take them out in this manner. Reminder, your first cut should be away from previous chips. So we'll cut away from the chip we just took out. And I'll just continue where I left off on the first cut, plunge down from my depth, and draw it out to the point. And then from shallow down to the end. With these inner chips removed, we're set to move to the next ones to the outside, which happen to be these chips right here. The easy way to do that is to take the inside cut first on both of the chips. followed by the outside cuts. That's where a modified knife comes in very handy. Easily take those chips out. Do that all the way around the plate. As we move out to these large chips on the outside, you'll notice that I added this extra line on the original pattern. I did that so we could add these large chips in the carving to give it some more contrast. It's good to have contrast between small chips and large chips in any chip carving. To take out these large chips, I suggest you remove a smaller chip on the inside before you try to take out the entire chip all in three cuts. By doing this it helps relieve some of the wood pressure and makes it much easier to make these cuts and take out the large chip. Go down and get your depth and draw it right out to the intersecting point.
See how nicely that comes out? All the chips have been removed. Next, I'm ready to remove the extra pattern lines and get the surface ready so I can apply a finish. One coat of sanding sealer, followed by three coats of spray satin lacquer, finished our clock plate very nicely. Thanks for joining me for this lesson. I'll see you here again next time, and remember, introduce a kid to chip carving.